Well, Tristan, I see your little Nkuhuma cubs. I think they were Nkuhuma cubs. And whilst I cannot raise you, I can match you in the sense that we've just come across, across a massive pride of lions with two minuscule little cubs keeping up with mum. Look at her little legs working furiously. Mum's just patiently striding along. She's got a belly that is probably weighing her down just a little bit. But look at them. Wait, Mum. Little legs must be getting so tired trotting across the plains. Watch closely by the wildebeest. Mum's not interested in wildebeest now, though. She's going to go and put these little cubs to bed for the day. There is a. She obviously belongs to a massive pride. I don't know which particular pride it is. I suspect. It's the Ridge Pride, given where we are. We are right on the top of uh, Rhino Ridge. It's also known as the Topi Plains Pride, I think is one of the other names that they're known by. They've got a few different names, but I think it's them. I'm not 100% sure. And just behind me, unfortunately, in a, in a no signal area, um, are Blackie and Lipstick. All right, the four kilometer boys, the two big male lines. Let's catch up with them quickly. Michael, you say cuteness overload this morning. I agree completely. We've been very fortunate already. And it's still so early in the morning. Let me get ahead so that we don't make her feel nervous. I don't think she's going to feel nervous, though. There's a big hole. Let's not drive into the hole. Let's pop ourselves. Which way is she going to walk? Car. Here we go. And now we sit and we wait patiently. And we let the two little bundles of joy come to us. It's another lioness. Is it a lioness off to the left? She looks monstrous, my goodness. These lionesses are huge. Here she comes, also with a full, full belly. They, we must have, Manu, how many she, lions do you think there were that we went past? Oh, here yeah, come the cubs. Seven. I think there might even have been more than that. I saw some sub-adult cubs playing around. So it's a big pride, plus these four, looking at around about 11 or so lions, probably more. Unfortunately, we don't have signal just, just past this ridge that we're on. Oh, look at you go. Welcome to the Masai Mara, little ones. You've been born at a very good time. I hope you're getting some amazing screenshots because this is just all calling. Ow! Ow! She's massive. She's actually going to walk right behind us. Here you go, Mum. Look at your little precious bundles. Better go and find somewhere safe for them tonight. Or today. Oh, this is so precious. My goodness. Manu, when she comes past, just nice and slow movements, especially because these cubs are so, so tiny. Hey, Mum. Hi, Mum. It's okay, Mum. Oh, she's covered in Oh, little lion cub just looked straight up at me. Unfortunately, too close to us for Manu to be able to show you. Sneaking round the back as the other lioness makes her way towards us. Beautiful. We reposition now while the other lioness is far enough away. That was very cool. Unfortunately, they basically grazed up against the car, so our camera wouldn't quite reach them, but there we go. I'm just going to give her some space. Obviously, there are other vehicles in the sighting, as you can see, everybody keeping a respectful distance, letting her choose the path that she goes along. Now, if I were to guess, I would say she's aiming for this ridge that's up ahead of her. Oh, run, little one, run. Yes, one day you're going to be a fierce hunter, but not just yet. 
I think she's aiming for the bushes on the top of that ridge. Uh, these cubs, this must be one of their first excursions, if I were to guess. I would put them at around about six weeks old, maybe seven or eight weeks old, but I'm thinking maybe around six. They really are tiny fluff balls. And you can see by their unsteady legs just how young they really are. <laughs> Gambling ahead. Francis, who is watching in Israel, I don't quite know if if we've judged it correctly. It does seem that way, doesn't it? So Francis is wondering if all of the lionesses in the Mara are just more muscular than the ones that we see in the Sabi sand. It feels that way, but I don't know if, I, I don't think it's really a fair comparison unless we were able to sort of compare them next to each other. As far as I know, statistically, there's not much difference in the average weight of the Southern African lions and the East African lions. But at the moment, they've probably packed on a few pounds thanks to the migration. They've been eating so well. Okay, let's do one more loop, catch up, get ahead of the cubs. <laughs> and then I think we'll leave mum to take them off to bed. And it's been probably been a very long, very exciting night for little cublets.